for you and there's a way that you can make these soaps look like your own soap it is going to be yours it's going to be your own innovation you just have to be really 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 Yo, what's creative. up guys good day it's vanessa even swallows again and welcome back to my channel if this is the first time that you're stopping by then please click on the subscription button and also there's a bell just right beside it so just do that and click on that one too because i randomly post videos i don't post videos like every time so i mean just not post today and then maybe i post tomorrow so for you to still get more videos like the one i'm about to make like right now so please click on those two buttons now let's go to the video guys i hope you enjoy that Welcome back this is the base and um, it's a glycerine transparent soap this is the result of the um, products that we're going to make so what you have to do is dice the soap into cubes and put it inside your crock pot or your microwave allow it to melt which is what is happening here um, inside the crock pot it has melted this is a previous soap that we made but it didn't really come out nice this is a soap mold that we're going to be using it's also a cake mold so if you want to use that that's fine now there is um, a book where I'll just be using a sheet of paper to um, lay down and what we have there is also called a thermometer you're going to be using it to see how hot the soap is and it's at 91 degrees which is which is okay this this means it has really really melted so get a small spatula whereby you use it to turn your your mixture then we're going to be adding glycol that's propylene glycol inside this mixture so as to boost the volume of the soap and it's okay it's 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 really fine it's a glycerin based soap it's very good it will help out to it will aid with the products really melting fast or the soap really melting fast so in an empty space make sure you get your sheet of paper or maybe a newspaper just make sure that your space is quite neat so that you add or you dice your soaps right on top of it okay so i'll be using the the k brothers rice milk soap it is white in color and it's also very much good for the skin i have tried using it before excuse me I tried using it before and then it really really lightened the skin or brightened my skin i like it i like the soap it is safe and it is not hazardous so what i'm doing right now is i'm just cutting the soap in um in cubes the next soap i'll be doing to improve or to boost the beauty of the soap is a pink colored soap which is also known as bumebine bumebine as we know it is a very nice soap that helps with facial um brightening it's a good facial soap it helps even some people call it a whitening it's a whitening soap really but um it just brightens okay it brightens the skin really well i like it it helps with dark spots too so try and cut this ones up you can add two or more colors if you want just make sure that the soap is good and it's a lightening soap so that your customers get results in no time they will not whiten up trust me they will just brighten up they would look nice just get a soap that you've used before and it's nice okay cut them together if you want to call your soap a papaya um soap get an orange colored soap or a carrot soap get an orange color soap that has carrots or papaya in it cut them in twos or cut them in cubes and put in your mold sanitize your mold with ipa and the next step i'm about to do right now is to add oil or um, you can use Vaseline for this step just make sure you use an emollient or shea butter anything um, let it be very light just use it to spread on the mold so uh, this 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 particular thing I'm doing right now would help the soap blop out really fast um, and nice and smooth on the skin too I want to be adding the fragrance oil and the fragrance oil that I'm adding inside the soap um, might have some ingredients in it that I, I may not just understand so it may turn your soap cloudy since you're making um, um, a transparent soap. It may turn your soap cloudy. So for you, for it to prevent for you to prevent that from happening, just make sure you get a solubilizer and solubilize your oils first before adding it. So I am using polysorbate 80, and I'm going to be doing a one-to-one -one ratio proportion. So just get um, a solubilizer. It's a very 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 good one if it's not really clear yet then just put 
add, keep adding your solubilizers until it has gotten to that um, transparent consistency or color or look that you want now please note that that step is really really optional okay it's not compulsory that you do it you can skip that step it's not compulsory but if you must add oils please solubilize it first before adding into it okay so um i just checked how hot the the oil of uh, the the soap base is and i'll just add my my solubilized oil right now inside it Now, the beautiful part of this is that this soap does not need a stabilizer because it already has stabilizers already inside the base so all you, you have to do is just to melt your own is just to melt it and allow it um you know do its work make sure you're using the slow cooker or the double boiling method please don't put it on direct heat okay it will kill the actives inside the the soap base so um this is where the tricky part comes in get a scoop and start to scoop you can get a scooping spoon then start to scoop out the base and pour inside your mold now if you know if you noticed I'm not filling the molds up I'm just doing it halfway this is a very 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 important step so as to get to your your inserts inside the soap if you want your ins your soaps inserted those cube soaps inserted inside please do it halfway do not put it do not just put the whole base inside there and start to put your inserts inside it will not really work well okay they might start to float and then they might just get on top uh -huh, and you may not just like that okay so leave this um leave this one the first the first soap or the first base you you, you pour inside the mold leave it to get stiff a bit just leave it to get stiff a bit then use isopropyl alcohol to spray on top of the mold so that on top of the soap base so as to make it um get rid of the bubbles now i have left it to get heat or to get hot or to get solid i'm, I'm sorry i allowed it to get solid already in a while so what i just want to do right now basically what i'm doing right now is just that i'm adding the inset or the soap chunks inside the soap you want to do this because you want the soap chunks inside the soap and not outside the soap if it comes out and it starts to poke out of the soap then it's not really going to be too good but do not worry the effect of the soap is going to be infused into the um the glycerin based soap no no jokes guys no jokes that's the beautiful part of this soap and just make sure you do this and then once you, you've done it allow it to rest for about one minute then you'd start to get your soap your your scooping spoon again and fill up the soap with extra base so that was basically what i was doing here i just make sure that i am trying to stare very well so as to prevent bubbles from coming in and i am filling it up in no time so this is a very very beautiful soap guys it is very good for your skin it will also help out to get rid of dark spots and it will give you a brighter radiant skin thanks